Have you thought yeah. about a potential personal statement topic? Um, I thought about building, building a profile of focusing around like resilience as a core value because I felt like that was something that I've always like genuinely tried to work on and to always develop myself and to, I guess like I loved um, practicing leadership and I've tried to blend that into like the professional field and I felt like um, it, I really kind of gained a lot from even just this year of um, really kind of devoting myself to law school applications. I've kind of grown a lot as a person and um, I felt like it links well, the resilience part links well with my childhood experience as well. So I felt like that could be a potential path to go down. But again, I'm not too sure if um, there is, because I know they're just looking for like personal qualities and traits outside of your professional, I guess, profile. Um, but I'm not quite sure if that is kind of like the right direction to heading to. I mean, I'm going to be honest. It's a little bit vague, right? So let's see. Okay, if you want to exhibit resilience or you want to exhibit leadership, if you want those qualities to come across in your personal statement, totally fine. Those are obviously great qualities to have. But what is a particular story or anecdote or experience you've had related to those qualities of resilience and leadership? Right. Um, resilience would trace back to a lot of like childhood, because um, I didn't have a great childhood. So I could talk about that. Like I'm not afraid to ex like just, I guess, expose anything, but I just, don't again like the, with regards to the details I'm not quite sure um how much exactly they're looking for and I don't again I don't really want to again like you said I don't really want to be vague and kind of draw on the big profile I rather kind of focus on like a specific experience um but yeah I'm not quite too sure like how to demonstrate everything because it's like so much so many things I want to put into it to really I guess showcase what I am as a person but at the same time, it's just all like so much say. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. And I would suggest if starting with the, the traits, which are rather vague in nature, of course, resilience, leadership, if that's not getting you anywhere in terms of a topic, but you keep coming back to childhood, I imagine there might be a couple of childhood experiences you've had that you feel are de defining you as a person in, in some way, or maybe they show how you've grown over time and those experiences no longer defy, define who you are. Yeah, because that's also a big thing I was thinking about because I was thinking if I were to talk about childhood um, primarily, it would come across as a bit negative. Um, can't, I don't really know how else to put it, but at the time of being when I was still young, it does, it did push me towards excellence, but at the same time, it was a lot of that negativity around the so-called motivation and I don't, I wasn't too sure if that's the right way to put it in the personal statement, but it did evolve, again, it did evolve over time, but I was just contemplating whether that would be the right way to put it across in a personal statement. Because it's a lot easier for me to explain in person, but on paper, I think it might come across as a bit harsh. It all depends on how you frame it. You, know, you could take the same topic, one person's explanation of it could be terrible and negative, another person's could be motivational and uplifting. It's all about how you spin it. And you can try to spin it in a positive way. You can try to frame it in a positive way. If ultimately the result isn't what you're looking for, I would take it in a different direction and talk about something perhaps more recent instead that relates a bit more to who you are today. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.